Zing. Bzzz. The queen bee from Bentonardi. It's putter. No. Not an actual bee. I got scared, I'm allergic. Check it out. Welcome back. What's up? Rose gold, baby. Yeah. Rose gold. The queen bee. This is the one. You are a queen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is the one that I hope I have the best roll with. Do you? I really do, because I really like this. This, do you? Just, this just looks cool. I was going to say, this is almost more like, if you're really into like real custom kind of putters and those types of things like the Scott like if you get into the Scotty Cameron Circle T world mm -hmm. and some of the custom that customization there uh, they call it the hive at Bettinardi um, as all their tour stuff and kind of their one-off things this is almost art <laughs> yeah this thing's legit looking it's um and that's what the queen bee starts to do is you start to move up into that it's almost too pretty to use yep. I'm not saying don't use it I'm just saying it's a little too pretty to use so oh, it's being used oh boy so I will say, you've been calling them double white heads. <laughs> yeah. But uh, this is probably the smallest, like toe to heel. Mm-hmm. Well, it's consistent. I'll tell you that. Yeah. Uh, it, so what is it like looking down at that, Aaron, as we kind of get you set up and knock I a said, few putts? I said that in the intro, that it's, it's kind of cool because it is that rose gold, but it's different. not It's not like a metallic. It's okay. kind of like a brushed look to it. Now it is on the bottom. Yes, the, the bottom soul. is the bottom is metallic. The face is more metallic. That honeycomb, the honeycomb to me feels firmer. Um, like it's got, it's a little more, uh, a little more responsive on right. uh, where you're hitting at. Now, unlike the studio stock, as well as the what's the blue one called again? The which one? Oh, the uh, the Innove. It is the honeycomb milling on the front yeah. of the face yes. is running all the way from toe to heel. Yeah. So like the BB series straight. that has a standard circular milling, uh, it is toe to heel. So if you miss hit one hypothetically, especially with the putter he chose to use, because balance should be pretty good toe to heel. Yep. Dude, you got to slow down just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, the problem is, is he's not giving oh, Trackman enough time. To... I don't know which one that picked up. I'm guessing the first one only. Yeah, so you are getting a little better roll, but you're still in that 82, 81 range. So maybe I should have putted. Terrible. All right, so here, let's check this one. So I'm going to go uh, center and toe. toe. Yep. So let me real quick, let me move bounce over here. The last um, distance was 15 feet, 8 inches. So I'm going to go, I'm going to run a different one right here and see if I can Ball see speed I can strike of seven. One. Are you going to go in the middle? Uh, yeah, I'm going to go see I if I can strike you. one center here. Yep. You're calling it? 7.7. Oh, super close. So ball speed is 7.7, distance 14 feet 9 inches. Now we're going to go toe. Sounded different. Yes, it did. Not not awful, but different. Yeah, it's higher A little pitch. lighter or, or higher pitched. What do you think from feel? What do you think? I feel, it's, I feel like that one probably dropped more than the rest of them did. 7.4. Really? Yep, distance 14 feet 11 inches. So you did lose some distance, uh, but ball speed was literally... That's awesome. Like that's so I would hope and expect from specifically this putter because it is being that it's more like that old Cameron fastback or double wide as Aaron keeps saying. Um, it comes back a lot further and that should add stability to toe to heel. So for anybody who's watching these, hopefully you've watched all of them. Question of why in the world would that be something to look at or why would we even be testing that? Well, let's be honest everybody. Hmm. Especially whenever you get on longer lag putts and speed is, which speed trumps anyway, but whenever you get on those longer putts and your stroke gets a little wobbly off back there, you're probably not <laughs> hitting the same. same spot every time. So if we can find a putter- Four foot putt, I'm not hitting the same spot every time. <laughs> that's a true statement too. <laughs> we find a putter that's got less speed drop across the face, right. then no matter where you hit it on the face, you're getting relatively yeah. consistently the same distance. It's yeah. kind of what we're looking now, at Now direction there. becomes another issue. Yes, and yeah. It ain't gonna help you much on that, but at least you know you're up by the hole somewhere instead of dropping a, having a massive speed drop or acceleration in some cases. You happen to catch yes. it in the front of the uh, front of the toe. Yeah, so um, Queen Bee, it's beautiful. 
It's pretty. Yeah. What was my roll percentage? Any better? Oh, I took it off. Uh, your roll percentage on that last one was 84. It's a little better. Hey, you're climbing up to 90? Slowly, very slowly. Slow drag. Yeah. So uh, do us a favor. Hit subscribe below. We're freezing our cool off. She's beautiful. Give she, it a look. She is pretty. I might get a little extra B-roll of that one. It's, it almost deserves it. That's cool. We'll put it to some music, some slow outro with Aaron drooling a little bit. Yeah. He does like it. It's pretty. Reunited. Make me feel. Oh. Well, uh, the travel <laughs> agent note. is going to come out, and I'm going to find you a room with that putter. <laughs> you guys have a great. We're done with him. He's not going to get any more. It's just gotten creepy. See ya. What?